News Copter 7 over Coney Island right now in a pretty dramatic rescue at sea. The target's not a person, it's that. That is a bell, a huge brass bell, and really a piece of Coney Island history. It sank to the ocean floor during a fire at Coney Island a century ago, and today, with much ado, as you can see, they are pulling it up. Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson watching it all. She's near Garrison Beach in Brooklyn. What a sight, Kim. Well, what a sight, Bill, and timing is every, everything. It is a celebration here right now. Let me get to it. All eyes are to the water. I want you to take a look. That right there in the netting, that is the bell, the bell that hasn't seen daylight in nearly a century. It's a story that dates back about 25 years. Jean Ritter has been fascinated by the story of the piers and 500-pound bell supposedly destroyed by a massive fire nearly 100 years ago. But this avid diver couldn't let go, was determined to find something, and set out on a mission to locate the missing piece to this puzzle. Being able to bring this up uh, is phenomenal, you know, and it's almost like a dream come true. Not just for Gene Ritter, but his entire dive team, who's getting ready to retrieve a historic piece of Coney Island history lost at sea. Is we want the bell to come up singing. <laughs> In its heyday, the Iron Piers next to the seaside community were a gathering point. Workers would ring this enormous brass bell as steamships ushered the masses to and from dreamland. But in 1911, a fire wiped this all away. Gene, who was born and raised here, has always been fascinated with the story and in 1990 set out on a dive to find the lost piers. And I planned that where the tide would take me right into it. And when I saw it, I can tell you, I heard the harp going, Dring. <laughs> it was unbelievable. He also found these bottles believed to once hold vinegar dating back to the late 1800s and the bell's rocker arm. That bell, Gene was determined to find it. And last year he did. Sitting in the water 25 feet down, this is what it looked like. I try to wrap my hands around and I couldn't, I couldn't do that. And I'm like, oh, just to feel it to see if it was real. And so today he returned to the exact spot about 100 yards offshore to bring it up. Gene says a symbol of Coney Island's past and future. We're coming into that 100-year anniversary where Coney Island started in, in 1904, the three amusement parks, 1903, and here it is, history repeating itself. And you are looking at a piece of history. This is a live look at the bell. Gene and his team, it was a delicate process. They were out off the water, on the waters off Coney Island all after noon trying to get it out. They towed it here to the marina. And right now they're trying to find a permanent home. Until then, you can go to the Coney Island History Project and see it. It will be on display there. That's a great exhibit right next to the cyclone. For now, we're live at Gateway Marina, Kimberly Richardson, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. What a great story.